Demon 9 review! In the teeth of a killing machine With a need to bleed you when the light goes green Best believe I'm in the zone to be From a yin to a yang to a yang to see Put a grin on my chin when you come to me Cause I'll win, I'm a one of a kind And I'll bring death to the place you're about to be Another river of blood running under my feet Forging the fire that long ago Stand next to me, you'll never stand alone Not yet, anyway. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the Toys, Toys, Toys M9. Made in China. It comes with a suppressor. Now, I would be angry at this for its price tag, but in reality, I can actually see this price tag. Five dollars. Five dollars. I can see that, actually. Now, granted, I can also see it going for two dollars. Two to five dollars is all I can see this going for. And if they tried going any higher, that set my ass off. Believe me, it would. Anyway, let's open it up from its sandwich bag thing. And oh, it's polymer. It's polymer. Oh, it's a light polymer, too. That's lovely. No safety, no fiddly bubbies, no nothing. This is all... Oh boy. Let's go ahead and grab the suppressor out of there. And let's leave the bag of BBs in there, because let's face it, we're not even going to use the paper. <laughs> it actually flowed down pretty good. This... Is modeled after the update M9, which came with the, uh... I'm already getting a headache from this. I'm, I'm not even joking. I'm already getting a headache. That's how bad it is that I'm already getting a headache from it. And I have yet to even talk about how bad it is. That's bad. Now, it comes, of course, with the supposed cute little tactical... Things, which in reality are not even that deep in, which means if I was to even do that, I'd have to actually just grab it like that and actually do that, which I gotta love how it's designed. Oh, that's just good. And it comes with a cute little magazine. Just... <sighs> keep it together, Al. Keep it together. Liquid courage. Liquid courage. Where's my liquid courage? Where's my liquid courage? Where's my booze? Where's my booze? Where's my booze? Where's my booze? Booze! Booze, where's my booze? Where's it? Where's my booze? Where is it? Where is it? Oh! Oh! Yes, 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 The booze says hi. And by the way, this is review 10 of 12. Two more to go, one more time. Here's the thing. This gun is 100% polymer. And it has a ugly ass seam down the middle. And I'm gonna go ahead and say it now. DON'T FUCKING BUY THIS GUN! And what's sad is I've seen this gun in so many goddamn Asylum productions I'm surprised the damn thing doesn't have a goddamn discount. I'm surprised Asylum hasn't said, Hey, you want to buy a gun we used in our movies? Which are knockoffs of mainstream movies? Here's one of the guns! Jesus H. Christ. Oh yeah, and it has a Picatinny rail there, but really? Really? Really, motherfuckers? Really? You're gonna try and put that? No! No! Don't! The gun is so cheaply made, it's not even funny. Not only that, but you cannot take the grip panels off because they are completely molded into the body. The trigger pull itself is ungodly, just the spongy, just... Can you hear that? Can you hear that? That's, that's the trigger. And when you actually prime it, 
It has this hard ass prime that's just. Oh, listen to that, by the way. That's just. That's not even good to the ears. And the trigger pull itself. You know. Let me go to another Springer M9 that actually does better than this piece of shit. Ladies and gentlemen of the court, I present to you the KWC Beretta M9. This is one-to-one -one scale with the actual other M9 Springers, as well as gas blowbacks. This is an overly cartoonish gun. I'm not even joking. If you look at the dimensions of it, it's overly cartoonish. It, it really is. That, and when actually trying to put them side by side, the actual genuine M9 is actually much more bigger. It is actually more... It's it's basically there. Not like that, but when actually comparing to it, the M9 trigger actually is good. Then again, you can actually see an actuating arm on the actual trigger. And while yes, the gun might not have the best performance, it has some weight at least, and the actual prime is not that bad, and... While yes, the trigger, of course, is... Got that break point right there. You still have a better, you still have better trigger response than this piece of shit. If you're gonna go with a goddamn M9 Springer, go with a KWC or go with its much more better variant, which is the M9 Taurus or the Taurus fucking thing. Jesus fuck. I haven't even gotten to the silencer, or I should say the cute little silencer. Look at this fucking thing. Just look at it! What is this even? What is this? And that's not the best part. When actually screwing it in, you actually have to be careful because guess what? The thing does not improve any form of accuracy because the actual barrel attachment itself is so goddamn crooked that I'm not that I'm surprised the thing actually works. And the outer barrel now is spinning as well. That's fantastic. I'm pointing it directly at you. Like I've got my sights lined on and the barrel is fucking crooked. I could adjust it. I could, but let's face it, it's not going to work. It's really not. And if I try to undo it, which, granted, it's actually working now, but if I actually pull on it, I'm not even joking here, if I actually pull it, boom! Outer barrel just came out. Let's just get to the FPS and fucking range tests. Can we? Can we just get to that now? Can we just go now? Yes, okay, let's go! For this test, I have four shots. So we're going to do two shots with the suppressor on and two shots with it off. So, let's see how it does, shall we? 97. 97. Or 90. My bad, 90. Let's go ahead and pull this off. There we go. Without the suppressor on. 39 FPS. 98 FPS. So the FPS is all over the fucking place with the suppressor off. If you really think... Which, by the way, let me just check and see what this thing says. 44 feet. You know what? You know what? I'm going to shoot the zombie target there again in the house because I don't want to go outside with this. I really don't because I'm going to go ahead and tell you now. Don't buy this gun! I'm going to load up five shots, of course, because guess what? I'm going to do two. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, it's five. Two with the suppressor, two without, and then just one for the hell of it. Okay. I 
went back five feet from the target. Five fucking feet, and that's not its effective range. This is. You wanna know what this is? You really wanna know? Come here, come here, little closer, little closer, little closer, little closer, little closer. Okay, hear me, hear me, hear me. Whisper, whisper, whisper. That's a one. It is a one out of ten. It is an epic fail. What the fuck? Who the fuck? What? No, no, just no. This is not how you do an M9! This is how you do an M9! This is not how you do an M9! Just... Just... Ah! Ah! Do not buy this fucking gun! I don't care if it's modification reasons, I don't care if you to use it as a prop in your movie, I don't care if you to use it as a prop in a goddamn skit. Spend $28.99 on this! This is better, this is more realistic, or hell, buy a better fucking Springer version! Jesus H fucking Christ God! Gun Jesus, why have you forsaken me? At least two more. If I can get through the two more, if I can get through these two, I'll fucking make it. I'll be good. What else we got? What's the next one? Come on! Come on, I can take it! I can take it, coach! Come on! Come on! Do it! I'm right here! Come on, do it! I really need a vacation after all this shit. Folks, I'm not usually a praying man, except the gun Jesus. But I'm asking now, if you're praying, folks, pray I get stronger booze. Because this shit ain't working. I win. Also, don't forget to buy our merchandise and uh, support us on Patreon. And if you want to link to our Discord so you can say right now how boned I am in the Discord chat, say Discord link, please. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to drink this entire bottle and I'm going to get me a nice drunken nap. Till next time.